all of them actually what's up youtube it's your girl honey be back to deliver another daily buzz for you guys welcome to my new subscribers welcome back to my returning subscribers my day ones those of you who have been rocking with me from the start i appreciate you guys also very much cross watchers you are welcome here as well um if you just so happen to stumble across this video and you see something that you do like or hear join our colony by hitting the subscribe button down below also hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when i do upload content to the channel you guys tell a friend to tell a friend of course we would love to have you here at the honeypot oracle you guys our channel is growing beautifully i want to take this time out to thank you all all of you who support the channel from the very beginning if you just found us welcome anyone you guys who stumble across these videos um thank y'all for letting me do readings for y'all i wouldn't be able to do this without you guys um i had to take a few days off you guys um working on something both professionally and personally and one of those things i am excited about i'm going to premiere onto the channel today you guys so i can't wait for you all to see what i have conjured up for you guys so let's go ahead and begin protect myself spirit as i channel these messages protect my tribe my colony as they receive these messages cast a white light of protection over myself and let's dive in okay so first and foremost um you guys know about this archetype deck that i created um i have been working on another one here I don't know what I am going to call this one. I'm thinking more of the lines of soul, the soul's confession, maybe the soul's confessions. I like that. Um, eventually, I'm going to get these published, and I'm going to be they are are going to be for sale for you guys to be able to purchase them. Um, but right now, I'm just gonna premiere it on the channel today, y'all, because I am excited to use this new deck. So let's go ahead um, and see what, what kind of energy that we could get off of these cards. Let's see what the overall energy is with these cards, you guys. This is going to be from our um, Souls Confessions deck. The Souls Confession. It has a nice ring to it, huh? Let's see. Give me that message, this Spirit. What kind of energy is buzzing around my collective? What does this person want my collective to know what does this person want my collective to know spirit oh take that one and i'm gonna take that one because it's been sticking out and let's see i think there's like 90 cards in this deck y'all so let me get one more and then we'll just dive into and uh, dive into them and see what the overall energy is okay so we have you never ask for much you've never asked for anything to be honest and that alone makes me want to give you everything you deserve that and so much more i owe you so your person is saying that they owe you much they're saying that they owe you um and that you're you're not I, i'm hearing like you're not very hard to please this person, they may have just at the time didn't or for whatever reason couldn't put in the effort for you. And they're also saying here, I should have loved you right when I had the chance. Right? So this person is feeling like they didn't show up for you the way you showed up for them or the way they should have showed up, shown up for you. Um, also, it's here. It says, I still remember the first time I laid my eyes on you. So um, they're seeing they still remember the first time they saw you guys uh i also heard verbatim so maybe the 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 conversation you had what you guys spoke spoke about they remember they remember that conversation ver verbatim so it's like they remember everything you said or verbatim in this instance could be um like what you had on the way your hair was fixed uh the conversation the word the verbiage is expressed between the two of you let's go ahead and pull some tarot 
Oh, excuse y'all. Excuse me if y'all can hear a noise in the background. It's late afternoon here and I, uh, you know. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. Give it a message, spirit. Give it a message. Okay, so we have Page of Cups. So, yeah, um, there's something about here with the Page of Cups. I get like an apology. This person feels like, okay, so this I owe you here may be an actual apology. But this person is admiring you from afar. Um, they are at this time thinking of the possibilities. This, this person is allowing themselves to dream with the inner child being here, like believing in miracles. Um, you know, a kid could say something random like, oh, I want to go to Disney World. And it's not it's not that it's outlandish, you know, but how would a kid, a six or seven year old get themselves to Disney World, right? It's like believing in dreams again. I feel like you make this this person... Okay, so if this person is more logical and analytical, you you bring out the adventurous and childlike side of this person. It's like you you allow them. They I hear my you let you make my spirit shine. So it's almost like this person they they feel a sense of freedom with you. It's like you never ask this person for anything. You never ask for much materialistically. Um, I'm gathering. So what you only thing you needed from this person was their general. I mean. Their gen generosity and that's in the areas of love. Like you just wanted this person to love you. The only thing you wanted from this person was to love you. Because they're also saying they should have loved you right when they had the chance. So this person is feeling like they gave you just the bare minimum. This person put, could have also breadcrumbed you with the page energy here. That's a small offer, right? Although it's an offer, it's something small. So this person could have gave you, given, uh, I heard snippets. So this person could have give you, given you snippets from here. Here and there, this person could have given you snippets here and there, right? But I feel like this person was so on the fence about something. This person was so on the fence about something. And for a lot of you with decisions being here and juggling, um, it's almost like this person, it's like they chose to be led astray is what I heard. Like this is what I, what, what I chose. I'm, I'm hearing I chose, I knew I chose this. So it's almost like. This person purposely, intentfully kept you at arm's length. It's almost like this person, they could have given you more. Almost like, okay, so giving you more. So what I'm saying here is, okay, so say for instance, you will call this person or text this person. Um... Your calls or your texts went unanswered, right? It's like even when this person had time, they still sat on their hands when it came to you. I'm getting a, um, I, I knew you would always be here type of energy. This person may have felt like you would always be there. Like you weren't going anywhere. Like this person had the upper hand, right? Hmm. This person juggled. They, they juggled with the offer. They, tr they juggled. They struggled bringing you in offers, right? It's almost like they did it on purpose. Like they knew what they were doing. It's almost like an energy of they had to. High Priestess is here. For a lot of you, this person hid the extent of their feelings as well. Hidden. Secret. Secret wisdom. Um, Or they hid from you why they were so on the fence about, you know, providing for you or showing up for you the way they did. I'm, I'm hearing like I couldn't. What I hear is I couldn't. There was something keeping this person okay so it's i'm hearing it's not that i didn't want to i should have loved you right when i had a chance and then i heard it's not that i didn't want to this person could have been this person could have been juggling a lot of a lot in life right a lot of ups and downs it's almost like this person was on the fence Person definitely break from you. Though. Three of Swords is here. Look, Three of Swords, and it, it caused a lot of heartbreak, emotional pain, breakup, betrayal, suffering, conflict, 
love triangle here so this person could have hit a, a, another partner from you um but holding back from you or holding you know what i'm hearing like by them expressing their feelings it would have put a lot of your worries at ease and this person just didn't offer you that right and now they're saying they owed you but what i hear is i didn't owe you anything so at the time this person felt like they didn't owe you any explanation so this could be a little cocky little um someone their silence your but now your silence is breaking their heart because it says i should have loved you right when i had the chance and still remember the first time i laid eyes on you so this person is suffering in silence at this time with the high priestess because that's a quiet energy right next to the heart rate so someone is suffering in silence it's like this person has two extremes like they want to reach out and apologize and talk to you and offer to you what they couldn't in the past um and they go between that extreme and the extreme of, uh, I was going to say <laughs> broken hearted, but then I heard crying in silence. So for a lot of you, this person, if they're not physically literally crying, this person is deep in their emotions, their feelings. Like this person is drowning in emotions at this time, but they keep it hidden. But for a lot of you, there's going to be an uproar because two of pentacles, that's like juggling, juggling life, you know, like having too many things, doing a balancing act. You know, when you, you battle, you're doing a, a one of, oh, a clown. Okay. When someone is juggling, like juggling balls, for instance, um, if they're not careful, all the balls come tumbling down. Right. So this person is about to burst. There's a, this person is going to, uh, yeah, look, nine of cups, but it came out cross and this person is not happy. It came out crossing. Like, I feel like the if this, this person, I'm hearing it's all an act. So, this person, there's no contentment where this person is. Not only that, this person is, they're not happy about the fact that they juggled you. They're not fact to, they're not happy with the way that the things turned out between, between you. And they're not, them themselves are not satisfied with what they offered you. It, you know what I hear? I hear I have so much to give. Like this person says they want to give you everything, right? So it's like almost this person, there's something here like this person couldn't pour into this connection the way they wanted to, right? 21 is here, the world. This person is not happy also that the, the connection between you and them has come to a completion. They feel like they're, they're not happy, they're not fulfilled. It's so much more left to our journey. It's like they almost like I get an energy of not being able to um, experience this connection is in its entirety. Someone may have been pulled away from work or someone could have moved. Um, there could be physical distance here. So there could be traveling distance or there could be emotional distance or the distance could be just you and this person staying away from each other. Right. Or there could be a blockage here. Could have you could have blocked this person's number, or this person just can't they can't get through to you for what it like it's almost like they feel like I unfinished business right here because three of cups talks about collaboration, friendship, right? Reunion. This person they're they feel like there's unfinished business. This person has some things that they want to say to you. This person want to talk. They want to talk. They have some things they want to express. You have two threes here, which is indicative of third party. So third party could be um could be or could have been a factor. Nine of Pentacles is here. Hmm. And right now with strength being under the deck, like this person is burdened at this time, not knowing what to do with the two of swords. There's a stalemate between you and this person. This person is at a crossroads, torn between two. So this person is torn between their old life, um, which is like I said, a job third party could be another partner, a spouse, kids, you know, whatever third party is, right? It could be, or just basically a lifestyle. Like maybe this person doesn't want to give up being single, right? So they're torn between making that decision to leave behind a lifestyle or um, what was there prior to you or whatever these addictions or whatever, whatever the third party is for your situation. I don't want to say another partner because that's not everybody's story. You know, everyone's person is not dealing with another third party, right? So just put yourself where it fits. But now... This person is discontent. And for a lot of you with the high priestess energy, I was going to say this person also watches you as well. Um, 
with the three of cups you can, it's almost like you can see her peeking out from behind behind these flowers so i feel like this person is watching you this person is also watching you be great with the nine of pentacles sword and the strength card this person is feeling like you have a new um i heard newfound confidence This person is wanting to come together with you and celebrate. I hear toast to my accomplishments. So they want to toast. They want. They have some things they want to talk to you about um, that they've accomplished. And they want to toast to your accomplishments as well. Because there's something you're looking real good over here with the Nine of Pentacles um, and the Strength card. The Eight to the Ninth. I heard a roar. Like, you know, like... You know, some, some cars, I don't know if it's a Hemi or whatever. Um, but like when you start it up, it's almost like a roar. Like it's real loud. Like this, this person. This person has a hunger for you. But at this time, this person could be burdened as well. They could have a lot on their plate. A lot of responsibilities. This person is being burnt out. They're stressed out. Um, but they're, they're going to keep going at this time. It's stressing this person out. Um, you know, with the energy of this person feeling like you would always be there, you would never leave. Now that you have, it's like it bruised this person's ego with strength and the ten of wands. Like it took a, it took a, huh? You took a hit at this person's ego. I heard I never thought I would see the day. I don't think this person thought you had the strength to walk away from them, right? Because it's saying here you never asked for much. You never asked for anything, which leads me to believe the only thing you wanted from this person was time, attention, and love, right? And then they're also saying they should have loved you right when you, when they when they had the chance. But this person had an ego. I hear ego bigger than a body. This person never thought that you, would, that you would. I heard escape. Okay, so it's almost like escape their grasp. Like maybe this, this person at one time had a hold on you, you guys. This person at uh, one time had a hold on you. You felt like you couldn't transcend beyond this person. And now that you've done so, it's, it's burdening this person. They don't like it. They don't, they don't like it. They don't like it. They don't like it. Judgment is here. Yeah, you had a wake-up call. You had renewal, a new renewal of life. Also, when I say wake-up call... um. A call is prevalent, so this person may call you for a renewal or a new spark to this connection. And I'm not saying that this person will call with um, love on or lust on the brain. This person may be calling just to talk to you, right? In a way to gauge your temperature, like seeing if you two, if you know what the world talks about endings, if there's there could be a second chance for you, even to even if it's to start off as friends. This person has been doing a lot of reflecting, a lot of introspection. This person. Um, six of six of wands is here. Yeah, this person just wants a little bit of your attention. And also here, like with you doing good, I don't know if you you know you had a hard time letting go of a, of this person. This 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 situation, this connection with this person really did a number on your self esteem. This person ha is seeing that you have a renewal of life. For a lot of you, you're in the spotlight. You're getting a lot of recognition. There's a lot of talk surrounding you at the time. At this time, like your name is being mentioned. People are mentioning you. You're being talked about either by this person, um, or people talking to this person about you, or just in general, right? You may have a lot going on at this time that causes you to be in a spotlight. I hear the spotlight is on you. You're a superstar. You're, you're getting a lot of attention and it's burdening this person because this person feels like it only takes the right one to notice you right they feel like you're 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 more um self-assured self-aware more confident i'm hearing a great catch This person also admires your resilience as well. This person know they put you through a lot and they see how you overcame that. And it could have been very hard for you. And this person could have been, um, they keep showing me eyes. So it's like this person, 
So one, this person could be watching you. And I said, this person may be aware of how what, how hard it was for you to let this connection go. And it's like they see, they've seen your transformation from then until now, right? The sun. Yeah, they see your newfound happiness. Prosperity, vitality, luck, achievements. Um, I also hear absence make the makes the heart grow fonder. Um, for some of you, this could be Leo energy. You have the sun here as well as the strength. Those are both Leo energy. Don't have to be. Or this could be a masculine energy that we're speaking of. You know, which anybody could embody masculine or feminine energy. Um, it makes this person happy to see you happy. Whether you're happy or not, because when I said that, I heard, but I'm really not happy, right? So whether, you know, this is true or not, whether you feel like you're happy from the outside looking in, this is the perception that people have of you, that you're glowing, you're in the spotlight, you're doing really good for yourself. Like you've overcome a lot of adversities, right? Situations that um, in the past would have killed you, you you're, you've passed with flying colors. This person is hopeful, right? For a lot of you, they want to... Um, take sudden action this person is seeing they're seeing how you're how you're getting on you're you're getting over things right it's like sudden action quick warrior brave like you're not a, you're not afraid to start all over is what i'm hearing it's inspiring to this person it's inspiration i'm hearing inspiration you're an inspiration a success story is what i hear um, to even those who pretend not to be looking, you guys, is also what I hear. The hermit, right? Even if you're keeping it to yourself, this person, huh? They feel like it has a lot to do with you growing spiritually. With the hermit being here and then you have judgment, high priestess. This is a lot of spiritual energy. This person feels like um, they also feel like you aren't afraid to be who you are. And this is expiring to, to people. Like you go within, like you fix. This person feels like you've, you've healed, right? They also feel like you're holding back. I hear for my, for my own safety. So for your own safety. To secure your peace. You may be holding back from this person and they feel this. This person is also holding back from you because at this time, this person is so searching. This person is so searching for a lot of you. And they, they're they recognizing the burdens and how unhappy that they, they are. And it's inspiring this person to take a risk. This person wants to be like the, the fool and take a leap of faith. They don't want to come towards you. Um... They want to come towards you because they regret how the situation panned out. This person is grieving. They are feeling guilty. This person feels lost without you. Um, they're in heavy despair. Their heart is broken. They're feeling let down. They've been isolating themselves with the hermit, which I was seeing here. This person has also been doing some inner, um, inner reflection. They've been doing some soul searching as well. This person is realizing how unhappy they are within themselves. But for a lot of you, this person... Um, they fear change. There's some fear of change here. This person is watching you, Page of Swords. This person is not satisfied with the separation between the two of you, the breakup, um, the dissolution of this connection. This person wants that whole thing back. For a lot of you, look, manifesting. A lot of you, this person is manifesting you. This person is also watching you make your dreams come true. And this person, they're in guilt. They're in grief. Um, because they can't enjoy they can't enjoy this with you. Like, you know, they this person cannot they they aren't included in your level up in your glow up and i don't think it's because this person wants anything from you like as far i don't feel like this person wants to use you it's just like this person you know like your growth is beautiful to this person this person really has a lot of admiration for you i don't know if they've ever told you this or not right but spirit is saying that is the truth with the ace of swords being under the deck. This person has a lot of clarity. They're not blinded anymore, right? They're no longer lying to themselves. This person wants to reach out and call you or text you so bad. But it's almost like this person, um, they talk themselves out of doing so. They talk themselves out of doing so, coming towards you. For a lot of you, it has to do with their beliefs. Or maybe this person is battling with their own beliefs. Like this could be for a hyphen, like hyphen energy. This could be um, 
they could already be in a marriage. They could al already be in a conflicting marriage, right? Um, or there could be some sort of competition. Or this could just be the way this person thinks, right? The way they're thinking. Their own truths. Their own their own truth doesn't make it true, you guys. Um, but this person could feel like the damage is already done. It's too far gone. I'm not going to reach out, right? And But it's causing this person a lot of internal conflict, not being able to come towards you, not being able to say what they have to say. Like, the, for a lot of you, this person, they, this person is going to bust. Like, they're going to have to get this out. There's a lot of spiritual energy. There's a lot of internal going on here. This person is definitely in, conflicted internally, right? There's some obstacles in this person's way obstacles may just be the way this person thinks their own inner truth their inner truth in this case could be fear fear of rejection or fear of what you're going to say uh king of pentacles is here this person may also fear like they don't have enough or this person could be in a connection right a conflicting connection they keep saying that because the hierophant being here which it could be a marriage um the king of pentacles could be the husband which any any king could be married anyone could be married you guys um but he this one is typically the husband this person is very um disciplined it's almost like this person is trying is tempering it's like they're tempering the emotions or that they have for you they're they're tempering the fact that they want to come towards you and offer you something like they're Look, the, they're fighting against it. Is this person's belief? Is their boundaries? This person has their own boundaries in place. A lot of you, this person has to do some healing as well. So this blockage um, here may be I was going to see a spirit guy is blocking this person, but I'm not feeling that their spirit team may be making them sit in this. Okay, spirit. So their spirit team is teaching this person to listen. Their spirit team is working with them at this time. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Because Ten of Cups here, it came out, but it came out crossing. And you know what? This person is almost like this person is fighting the awakening. This person may be going through dark night of the soul. Because, you know, uh, you got to heal. You're either going to do it voluntarily or the universe is going to take you kicking and screaming. If this is a marriage, y'all, a relationship, they're living with someone with higher friends, ten of cups, the king of pentacles being here, this person is not happy. There's a lot of conflict in that connection. There's a lot of conflict in this connection. Um, this person wants to come towards you. This person may be a boss, entrepreneur, um, a born leader. Yeah, this person could definitely be a leader somewhere. Or this person, this person is being asked to take control um in a family dynamic right it's almost i hear if, if you're not happy do something about it oh ho, 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 ho. queen of swords oh i hear budding heads so whoever this person is with if this person is in another connection or not um, this person has a partner, spouse, or not. This could be like a family member, member a mom, a dad. Um, this could be a meddling auntie, a sister. Y'all know. Um, this person is not happy with the way things are going. I feel like this person wants to take action and cut something out. But this person alone doesn't like to show weakness, right? So king or queen, you guys, you know, gender is fluid. We house both. Um, this king of wands is wanting to take action and cut something out. And for a lot of you, it has to do with, um, something they are no longer happy with. So this could be a living situation, a job, a partnership. Um, this could be some kind of work agreement, whatever the third party scenario for you is And in this person is wanting to reach out. Look, and right when I said that I split the deck, split the deck, you had, 
Oh, the full card, which is taking a leap of faith and page of wands. Like this person wants to come towards you. I heard, I heard just say fuck it. Like this person is wanting just to say F it and they're wanting to reach out because this person has something they want to say. And for a lot of you, this person wants to tell you, um, that they want to walk away from something and come towards you to heal, to heal something. Or this person may be holding back from coming towards you until they walk away from something so that they can come towards you and heal but first and foremost there's something that this person has to be cut out um there could be another connection there could be a job there could be a community you guys this could be toxic friends and family members this could be a toxic work environment or like i said this person's way of thinking like their upbringing with the hierarchy energy being here also, Eight of Cups to me is walking away from something. But when you walk away from something, you walk um, towards something else, right? Uh, typically knowing or learning a lesson from the last situation. So this person is like going on an adventure for self-discovery. Like they're, they're abandoning something. It's a situation that they're not happy again in right here. And then again, you have the full card that pops out. And also, you have the chariot. This is you have a lot of majors here overcoming obstacles stepping into the unknown. Oh, this person cannot forget you like you've left a stain on their brain. Let me get some other messages from this deck, y'all. It says no matter how hard I try, I cannot forget about you. Mm. You left a stain on this person's brain. Just what I said. You are perfect for me. This person feels like you're perfect for them. They feel like you are the one for them. Like you're perfect for them in every way imaginable. What else? No one compares to you. Is you for me. You're my most precious gift. My guardian angel. Wow. This person really admires you, you guys. There's something. There's some kind of soft. It's almost like this person. Okay, so. Let's say, for instance, this strength card. Say, for instance, this person is the lion in the image. Like, you are this fair maiden. It's something about, like, you tame, you tame something within this person. So, if they have an anxious... Um, if they have an anxious energy, right? Like, it's almost like you calm this person down. Like, you balance them out. So, if this person is more logical, let's say, like, you're the more dreamy of the two. It almost like you... you, you it's like a balance, you know, like if this person is all business, you're the play, you're like, they're all business, you're a play or vice versa, right? This person feels like you're the perfect balance for them. There's a lot of tens here. 19 reduces to 10. You have 10 of wands. You have 10 of cups uh, that came out crossing. Nine of cups came out crossing. Hmm. What else? What else? What else? Okay. And I'm just going to take the two that flipped over. And, um, oh, well, I can get a few more. Let me just take these. Okay. So it, it says, if I could do it over, things would be different. I choose you every time. So for some of you, there is another situation here. There is another, there is another lover here, shall I say. But notice the lover's card didn't come out, nor neither did the two of cups. The third, the threes came out indicative of third party, and the tens came out signifying signifying endings. And you have the hierophant here, which can signify a marriage. But the lovers and the two of cups never came out. There's no emotion wherever this person is. In their head, the focus is solely on you. It's almost like it's hmm. Would you believe me if I told you that I'm in love? Yeah, because this person is in love with you. I don't know who with this who this person is with, but this person no longer loves this 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 other party. It says at night sometimes I look up at the stars and wonder if you're if you're looking to star seeds. So like I said, there's a lot of there are a lot of majors here. Um, so that's how I know this is a higher highly higher level soulmate, twin flame spiritual connection. You have one two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You have eleven majors here. Oh, eleven. So eleven, eleven. This could be your twin flame, you guys. And it says I allowed other people to come between you and I. There were too many opinions. I valued more than my own. Mm. 
So this is a, a person, someone who cared a lot about what people said, uh, have to say, or what people think. This is, could also be someone of status because you have a King of Wands here as well as a King of Pentacles energy. So this could be someone um, that has status in their community or this, this person could be, um, I heard world renowned, right? Or this could be the energy of somebody who's, you know, they're just, they just real popular, right? This person, I hear like an image to protect. They're showing me um, the movie Grease. It's, you know, you know me better than I know myself. You see right through me. And like I said, this person may have an image to protect. You could be dealing with someone that wears a mask. This person could wear a mask. And they feel like, look, you're an earth angel. I can't make this up. No wonder they can't shake your energy. Earth angel energy with, with a high priestess. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see if we could get some characteristics of this person look makeup artist y'all i can't make this up this person wears a mask and i split the deck this person wears wears a mask or this person may be a makeup artist but i heard like wears a mask and then on top you have insecurities so um physical appearance abandonment issues mommy daddy issues control issues etc so this person may also struggle with some um insecurities and look spiritually gifted not you or and your person i heard and or so you and your person there's a lot of spiritual energy here i'm definitely feeling 11 11 higher level soulmate or twin flame um physical appearance so this may be someone who works out with jim rat being here what else spirit what else older gentleman or lady so this person may be older or you may be a jeweler is here so this person could wear i heard diamonds or this person looks at they they re refer to you as a diamond i heard a rare diamond so like pink diamond energy blood diamond the movie may be significant you may be a fan of that movie or leonardo dicaprio or what is his name y'all um the black guy that plays in the movie oh he's so fine um so y'all know i'm a fan but this person thinks of you as a rare a rare gift right well they think of you as an earth angel we saw that here in the last day and we have green eyes so green eyes may be significant or you know what else i heard green with envy um so envy is that they that you can't they can't get to you because under this deck here well, on the top of this deck it says now that you're unreachable and unavailable, I've learned my lesson. I never want to feel like this again. And on top of this one, we have guarded. So this could be someone that you're guarding your against yourself against, or this person may feel like you're guarded, you're guarded against them, right? Because this says now that you're unreachable and unavailable, I've learned my lesson. And I never want to feel that way again. So now that you're guarded, you're guarded against this person. They don't have a way in. Um, what would where once they thought their energy would their they were solidified their position was solidified they no longer have that that advantage and then under this one it says high priestess it says priest priestess or hierophant intuitive hidden knowledge quiet tarot reader psychic third eye wide open you have priestess energy here twice so like i said this could be you and your person you both could be spiritually gifted that card came out as well this person is also spiritually inclined i don't know if they label it as such but they are this is a spiritual connection. So music industry, radio personality, DJ, singer, producer, rap artist. Um, I think, I don't, did it come out? I don't know. Did that card come out? When it says music reminds me of you or maybe I was just thinking about it. You know, oh, look, you guys, look. Under this deck, Earth Angel comes out. I'm hearing a song. Um, It's it's by escape where they say um this is this is one of those love songs that you hear in the middle of the night makes me want to be with you wherever you are tonight and whoever's listening just hold your lover tight this is one of those love songs um i'm gonna link that y'all let me write that down so i don't forget because i want y'all to hear that song it's a cute it's a cute song it's a cute song. It's a rather old song. Um, one of those love songs. Okay. 
Um, oil and gas, oil and gas industry. So this person may work um, with the with the oil and gas industry, or there's something significant about a gas station. And divine judgment is here, and karma. So this person is feeling like now that they now that you're unavailable and unreachable, I've learned my lesson. I never want to feel this feel like this again. So this person they're realizing that hey, it's karma. Her karma. This person may have tattoos on the face, arm, um, a leg sleeve could be significant. A neck a arm or leg sleeve could be significant, a neck tat, or this person could have piercings, or they could be a piercer. I heard they they could like your piercings, so you may have piercings as well. And February may be significant. You could have met this person in February. They could be born in February, or something significant is going to happen in February. You see, selfish. I was picking up on a selfish energy, like this person not loving you the way they should have, right? Um, not giving you what they could have. Like this person could have made more time for you. I mean, they may be wishing that they would have made more time for you, right? But selfish is here. It's in reverse. So it's like this person no longer wants to be selfish with you or towards you or with their energy anymore. Aquarius may be significant. Aquarius is also February. They are February Aquariuses. So you may be this person may be may have it in their chart or like I said, something significant may happen within Aquarius se season, um, namely February. I heard or after. So uh, in February, in Aquarius season or February. In Aquarius season or after Aquarius season, which Aquarius season is still, it rolls into February and it ends in February, right? So this could be the month of February or Aquarius. You guys get it, right? No kids is here. So this person may not have kids or they don't, they no longer want to play kitty games. And overwhelmed is here so this person could be dealing with a lot um being away from you or a lot in our life in general for some of you this person has or um could be facing jail time or having to go to court or jail time could actually be spiritual court right with overwhelm being here so this person could be overwhelmed spiritually this person could like i said be going through a dark night of the soul this person could be going through a transformation um let me get some final messages and then I'll wrap up this reading, you guys. This is a pretty long one. And we'll close out this reading. Give me some final messages, Spirit. Please and thank you. Give me some final messages. Okay. I fantasize about you loving me again. Ha, huh? yeah. First, I feel like you don't feel the same anymore. You don't have, they don't have that access to you. You're unreachable and unavailable. What else, Spirit? My heart hurts thinking about you. Ooh, they think about you a lot. It's an internal battle. Like, this person is, is, crying on the inside suffering in silence in, suffering in silence energy okay so i'm gonna just take these because they flipped out it says i'm so confused why it is like this now someone's like this person can't even understand themselves anymore like everything like you know everything around them may be the same physically the same but their internal environment is what's shifting right i have cried over losing you I wasn't ready to connect. I am sorry. This person wasn't ready for the level um, in which this connection was going to take them. It says our love is timeless. Um, I hear I'll do the love because our love is timeless, right? So this uh, this could be like over the realm, over the span of lifetimes, especially if this is a twin flame, higher level soulmate, like you've done this in every lifetime. I know it wasn't meant to be like this. Hmm. And I wish I could turn back time. Yeah. This person wants that old thing back. They want to go back to the way that things used to be. They want they this person also wants to know if is there any room for advancement. They're showing the three of wands. So this person wants to know if there is there any room for expansion. Like if they even still have a chance, if you would have them again. I, I saved our your texts and messages. Sometimes I stay awake thinking of you. 
I'm hearing the song, Selena's song, Late at Night When All the World is Sleeping. I Stay Up and Think of You. You were the best thing in my life. Ooh, wee. This person has had a lot of revelations and awakenings, you guys. I know I was a distraction from your pain. You could feel this way about this person. Finding out the truth crushed me. Finding out that it was, you know, and the truth in this situation, what I heard was finding out how much it hurts when I realized that it hurts. So many things remind me of you. It's because so many things are reminding this person of you at this time. They can't shake you and we don't share the same values is here. And like when I talked about in, in your reading with the growth, right? So this person may feel like you and them are no longer on the same, same wavelength. Like you don't share the same values anymore. Like your goal that you must have of being with this person, you you don't share that sentiment any longer is what I'm hearing. This person feel like you don't want to be with them. I feel you even though we are apart. Serious soul connection. And last but not least, y'all. Thank you, Spirit. Um, hit the, li the like button, the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Final message is I feel so happy with you. So this person also saying that when they with you or when they have times with you, they feel so happy. And now that you two aren't together, this person is feeling so lost. Oh, and look right off the deck, you guys. I love you. Final message from this person. I hope this helps y'all. See y'all in the next video. Bye.